Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a video talking about my experience at Generation Beauty LA 2018, as well as to share with you the products that I received, not only in the goodie bag, but also the products that I received from walking around the floor. So if you're interested in seeing this video and hearing about my experience, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so Generation Beauty was held this past weekend, the 24th and 25th of March in LA at the Convention Center. Typically in the past, Generation Beauty was held on the roof of LA Live, like under a giant tent, but last year there was a lot of rain and storm and wind and part of the tent started to collapse. So it became kind of like a liability issue. And so this year they moved it to the Convention Center across the street and there was a ton of open space it wasn't super packed um, when you were walking around. The lines did get pretty, pretty packed. I did hear at one point that the line for NYX, which I believe is always the longest line ever, um, got to be around three hours of wait time. So that's pretty crazy, but there are always a lot of smaller brands that have smaller booths and their lines move considerably faster than that. So originally I wasn't gonna go to Generation Beauty. I had a lot of stuff on my plate and a lot of bills that I needed to take care of. But at the last minute, literally like Friday night, late night, um, I decided to purchase the ticket and I was able to go with my friend Jackie and her friend Kat and she is awesome. Both of them are awesome and it was really great to get to know Kat and to hang out with her and with Jackie and just have a really nice weekend with them. Um, it's really nice to have friends that I have something in common with talking about makeup and they were excited. It was both of them their first year at Generation Beauty so I got to kind of share some tips and tricks with them and overall I feel like we had a really good weekend. So. Because it was at the convention center this year, they did change a few things. Um, in the past, they've given out lanyards that you would wear. This year, they did the bracelets, the wristbands, um, similar to what Beautycon does. And then each line, instead of tearing off a ticket as you would in the past, you would they would just uh, scan this with their devices. So we did that, and this is blue. Mine's blue for the Creator Pass. General admission was pink, and there's a purple one. I'm not sure what the purple one meant, um, but like I did say, mine is the Creator Pass. And what else is different? They had um, a Lightning Pass this year, which would let you cut the lines for the booths considerably. Um, you have like your own separate line, but they were only letting about 10 people in the lightning pass line at a time and then they'd hold up a sign that would say please come back in five minutes and they would do that for the general admission lines but they let a lot more people in the general admission line but the lightning pass I did feel that line did move a lot quicker obviously there's less people in it and they tried to accommodate those people as best as they could they also had an early access pass or early admission um, which they have had in the past I've gotten that before um, and so people were allowed to get in at 10 a.m. versus general admission 11 a.m. Um, even though I had the creator pass I was only allowed to go in at 11 which is fine that's great and then they also had beauty labs this year or panels where different brands, they had eight different beauty lab panels where different brands came in and they talked about their products and highlighted a few specific products and showed the, showed the people in attendance how to apply them. And they had released tickets for those. Those were like $39 extra. Um, but you could purchase those prior to the event, but they did have a standby line for each one um, in case they hadn't sold enough tickets. They still wanted to make sure that the the beauty lab was filled and so my friends and I we actually we were able to attend four of these beauty labs solely through the standby line which was really cool so we were able to um, get the products from those as well and I will show you that because it is awesome but that's pretty much how it went I had a really good time there were definitely a few things that Ipsy could change um, Everyone's learning and growing, and like I said, it was a new venue, uh, new things that they were doing. But overall, I had a I had a great time, and maybe that's just my point of view because I love these type of events. I love the experience. I love the feeling, and I love being surrounded by like-minded individuals where we love makeup and it's our passion, and it's just really fun. It's a fun experience. So let's go ahead and get on into the goodie bag. 
So in the past, Generation Beauty has given out a goodie bag on both Saturday and Sunday, but this year they just did one big bag for everyone. And this is what it looks like. It's actually a backpack, which was nice to actually carry the weight like on my back versus just lugging around a bunch of tote bags. And I only came home with like two tote bags this year instead of like the normal like 10 that I would get. But this is everything that I received in the tote bag. Um, obviously some papers, flyers, coupon codes, discount codes, what have you. And then I have a sample of the Nature Lab Perfect Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. A Freeman Beauty Infusion Revitalizing Peel Off Mask and this I believe it's the same Freeman that like was around back when I was a teenager but they've definitely like revamped their packaging so that's what that looks like and then we have from Lancome it is the Advanced Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask and that is what that looks like it was on the ground um, we have from Vital Proteins some collagen peptides and you would just mix this into like coffee, tea, hot chocolate, juice, smoothies, soups, oatmeal, whatever. Um, it's unflavored and it's just a powder. And we actually got to sample that in a lavender, lavender lemonade type thing. They were giving out a sample of that or like a matcha green smoothie thing, but I tried the, the lavender. Um, because I love the taste of lavender like I've had lavender soda before and it's my favorite soda of all time but um, it was good you couldn't taste like any grittiness or anything in the drink so it was I really enjoyed it next up I have from fat boy this is a hair putty um, I don't really know what to do with it I feel like it would be for someone with short hair. It says, dig out and rub between hands, work through dry or damp hair for a flexible next day matte finish. That was hard to get out. And from what I understand, they are a brand from New Zealand. We also have a pair of Eyelure Lashes um, collab with Vegas Nay, and these are in Easy Elegance. From Buxom, we have the Big T's Sample Size Mascara. I believe that's a new product that they just came out with. We have from Ava NYC the Main Magic 10 in 1 primer. Pure Lease gave us the Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. So that's exciting. They have really nice skincare products. Pardon my nails, they are a mess. We have from Mark Anthony the Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. And I received one of these in an Ipsy bag and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to have another one of those. From Essence, I have an eyeliner pen, extra long lasting, and it's a felt tip. I also have an eyeliner from Pop Beauty, and it's a Kajal pen um, with a smudger on the back. So it's just a black pencil with a little smudge brush on the back, and I've received that before as well. As well as this, this is nail polishes from Meg. You can't really see them in the bubble packaging, but there's just a nice nudie camel color and a very pretty gray. From Sue, I have a Donkey Milk Skin Gel Mask. And from the Creme Shop, I have a Matcha Green Tea Face Mask. Pacifica gave us Crystal Melon Makeup Removing Wipes. From It Naturals, I have a 12 in 1 Amazing Leave In Treatment Argan Oil Keratin Enriched. So, a hair product, and it is hefty, it's full size. Belief gave us the Hungarian water essence, and I had never actually heard of this before. I'm used to getting like the Truth Bomb and the Aqua Bomb, but that's a new product from at least me to receive. Physicians Formula was there this year, and they gave out butter um, highlighters, and my friends got different shades. Like they got like a pinky shade, and I got this shade in pearl. And I've never tried um, the butter line before so I'm excited about that. From Laritzi I have a lip pencil in Bare which is just a nudie shade. I also have from CoverGirl Katie Cat Gloss in 
Kitty Karma, this nice hot pink. From Bella Pierre, we have a lipstick in Sassy. The bomb was there and they gave out to the girls a getaway trio, just a little cheek palette. And that's what it looks like. Very excited about that, I love the bomb. I also have from Briojo, it's the Rosarco Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protected Cream. Love Briojo, love this product. Too Faced gave out a tiny sample of the Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. It's both. Or it's this, like a spray primer. We have from Luxie Beauty, this is the Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. You guys know how I feel about Lexi. They actually had a beauty lab that I was able to go to and I'm excited to show you what I got from that. From Moda, I have a pro makeup brush for contouring. IBY Beauty gave us a liquid lipstick in Flirt and it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's just a nice, um, really matte, but very comfortable to wear nudie pink shade. From Mark Anthony, we have Strengthening Grow Long Super Fast Miracle Treatment for your hair. Just a tiny size of that. I have a small black liner from Pixi, as well as a pure correcting primer. I believe I've tried this one before. I don't remember how I felt about it. Koki Cosmetics gave out a nail polish. This one is in Heavenly, a nice lavender shade. And Bioderma gave us a Sabium Matte Control Shine Control Moisturizer. And I actually have two of these. Um, one was in the bag and one is what they gave out at their booth. Shea Moisture was not there, at least I didn't see them, but they did include this in the bag. It's the Sugarcane Extracted Meadow Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment with Marshmallow Root for all hair types. And I really like Shea Moisture products. Next up, I have this little grande primer fortified with lash plumping peptides. I believe the brand is Grande. Um, Dirty Little Secret gave out a lip gloss in Vampy, which is a really deep shade. Note Cosmetics gave out a Hydra Color lip gloss in Caramel. Derma E gave out the Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil with Argan and Jojoba Oils. And the last thing in my bag is from MAC and it is a lipstick in Costa Chic. And I believe this was the only color that they gave out, but I could be wrong. But my friends and I all received the same color. It's a frost, so it's got some shimmer to it. And it's just a really corally, orangey color. It's really pretty. Perfect for spring and summer. And that's everything that I received in my goodie bag. So let's go ahead and get started with showing you the products that I received while walking the floor. All right guys, so I wanted to do a giveaway um, in the middle of my video for those of you who are really taking the time to watch this. I really do appreciate it. And I'm gonna be having not one, but two giveaways. So I have taken some of the products that I received from Generation Beauty, plus other products I have in my giveaway box, and I have created two separate little giveaway bags. So the first one, it is in this bag that I received out of former Generation Beauty, and this says BU, and then the Ipsy stylist Jalisa, her name, and this is what is gonna be inside this bag. And they will be random, whichever one you win. So the first thing is a mascara from L'Oreal. It's the Voluminous Feline in Black Brown. Love this mascara. You have the Dirty Little Secret um, lip gloss in Vampy which is this nice red, oxblood red shade. You have the Bella Pierre lipstick in Sassy, which looks like this. A nice kind of terracotta-y orange color. Pure Lease, I'm gonna give you the Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. And then you are also going to receive the 
Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen or Eye Crayon and a Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. And then the last thing will be from Naked Cosmetics and it is a Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in Mother Nature, which is like a blue-brown duochrome shift. So that is what you'll receive in this bag. And then in this bag, this is what it looks like, an old Ipsy bag, VIP, very important products, obviously. You're gonna receive a mascara. This is the Step 3 Perfect Flutter Mascara in Jet Black from Manicadar Beauty. You're going to receive from Laritzi a lip gloss in the shade Aura, which is that nice, really pretty duochrome shift lip topper. You're also going to receive the Koki Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Suede. The Pop Beauty Kajal Pencil in Sooty Black. And it's one with the smudge on the other side. From Belief, the Hungarian Water Essence. And then you're also going to receive the Bioderma Shine Control Moisturizer as well as the Naked Cosmetics Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in, again, Mother Nature, Blue Brown Duochrome Shift. So those are the two bags that I'm gonna be giving away. If you would like to enter, you have to be subscribed. Uh, you have to leave a comment down below. I want you guys to tell me what your favorite beauty trends for spring are. And then I also want you to follow me over on Instagram at Green Eyed Beauty 90 and then you're going to leave your Instagram handle in the comments so that I can check and make sure that you're following me. Um, and that is how I will contact the winner also. This giveaway is going to run from now. Today is the, today is the, today's the 26th and this is gonna run through Oh, let's see. I'll run it through April 13th. How does that sound? Okay, so you have from now until April 13th to enter. It is one entry. It is US only, and I will have the rules listed down below. Good luck. I'm excited for you guys, and yeah, thank you guys for entering. All right, so continuing on, this is the bag of everything that I got, and it did not feel like a lot until I put it all in this bag. So this is from both days. I did go Saturday and Sunday this year. Um, and this is just a bag from Ava NYC. So this is everything from the Beauty Lab panels plus everything that I got while walking the floor. And then I do have two other things to show you that I got for the Creator Pass. So first up, um, things are kind of out of order. Again, more papers, but I stopped by the NYX booth and got a little creator bag of stuff, but they were taking these Polaroids and look how cute. I love this photo. Um, it's so adorable. They were promoting their new vinyl collection. They've got um, glosses, liners, as well as these shadows that make it look, it gives it that wet appearance. So that, that's what they were promoting. Um, and the stuff that I got from them, is right here so they gave me and again this is for the creator pass I believe the regular um, general admission they were just giving out this it is the strictly vinyl lip gloss um, in zero two and then I also received the strictly vinyl eyeliner in extra which is just purple and then I have an afterglow highlighter or illuminating powder in Summer Thrill. So that's what I received from them. So thank you, NYX, for getting me those. I appreciate it. Next up, um, this was from the Luxie Beauty Panel, and they gave us the Luxie Basic Eye Collection, the brush set and I adore these brushes. They are amazing, they are incredible. If you wanna watch any of the Beauty Labs, you can go on to Ipsy's Facebook page and they have them all on there. They recorded them all live. So that was from that. And then they also gave us a the Balm Palette, the Nude Dude Volume 2 palette. And this is what it looks like inside. 
So we got to create a look using that palette. And the girl who did the tutorial, her name is Pow Tips on Instagram, P-A-U-T-I-P-S. Next up, I have from Fatboy, this is the Boss Dog Styling Cream. I have another thing from them. This is the Tough Guy Water Wax, and they said that this is what like the Kardashians use when they pull their hair up in a ponytail, in a ponytail and it looks really slick and shiny. It's this that they're using to give it that shine. So the other one that I have, it's like a matte appearance and this one's a shine. Um, from IGK, I have a Beach Club Texture Spray. Brioja was there and they were giving out Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Masks and they were mixing in an oil of our choice. I chose Macadamia Oil because it is strengthening and my hair definitely needs that. So that's what I have from them. Dirty Little Secret gave out a lip gloss in AF and it's Dirty Little Secret collab with Sadia Slay. I hope I said that correctly. I have some hair samples from Cantu. These are Texture by Cantu for Waves and Curls Defining Gel and Defining Cream. And then I also have another one from them from a different line. But I can't find it. There it is. It's the Hydrating Conditioner and Scalp Saver. I have from Belief this little bag. And inside the bag we have a Hungarian Water Essence, another one of those. The Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner. I guess it's good for dry skin. And the Moisturizing Eye Balm. That's perfect because I just read out of eye cream. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you, Belief. I have a ton of makeup wipes. Well, not a ton. I've got a few makeup wipes. These are from the Beauty Lab. Ava NYC gave a Purse Perfect Hair Towelette. I have a sticker from Fatboy. Jouer did foundation um, color matching for their new high coverage cream foundation. And I am in the shade buff. When the girl was color matching me, she was trying to find the color and I told her, I'm usually like in the palest range. And she chose one from like the fourth um, row or something. There's 50 shades in this range. And I knew that it was gonna be too dark, and of course it was, and we had to use like four different foundations until she found the right one, because she was worried about making it too light. And I told her, there's no way you can really make it too light because I can just bronze it up, but I'm always like the palest. Then I also have from Peerless, um, another Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask. From Physicians Formula, they gave out the Full Size Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I have from Pure, it's a little um, like cream eyeshadow in satin, this nice champagne color. Another makeup wipe. Note Cosmetics, they were also doing foundation color matching of their Detox and Protect Foundation. This has almond oil in it, so it's really good for your skin. And it is in 103 Pale Almonds. From Meg, I have the Two Step Jelly Mask. Um, for soothing and brightening. That's what that looks like. I've never heard of their brand before, but that's from them. This is from Kogi Cosmetics. It's a liquid lipstick in suede, which is really just brown. Um, but that's what they gave out. I have like two hair ties again from the Beauty Lab. I have it from Maybelline. They were promoting their burgundy bar, and that is what I received from them. Um, and I'm excited about it. The color payoff on the displays that they have there seemed really nice, so I have high hopes for it. I have not liked the other Maybelline palettes um, that are in the same form. I feel like the color payoff has not been good. Like they've swatched pretty good, but using a brush, there was really no payoff. So I have high hopes for this because these colors are gorgeous. And this just released, you can buy it or pre-order it on Amazon for $9.99. And then I have a couple other things in here. I have the fan brush from Luxie. I'm not sure what the number is because it's flipped around on the other side, but I'm very excited about that. 
this since they were giving out a lipstick, a nail polish, or an eyeliner, and I chose the eyeliner. This is the Dip Essence, no, I'm sorry, the Essence Dip Eyeliner. And it's a very weird tip, but it's super matte and super black. Another hair tie. Um, we're almost to the end of the stuff that I received walking around. There's just like three more things. Um, another Bioderma Shine Control Moisturizer. Bon Voyage. It's just a tiny shadow in Kuwaka Ribisha. Just like a, a nice shimmery skin tone, I guess, peach color. And then from Say Moi, um, a visionary makeup crayon. And this line is really for like teens and like 12 to 16 type age range. And this is in chocolate, if I didn't already say that. Just a makeup crayon. And now moving into the other things that I received at the beauty labs. So the first one that we went to was on Saturday morning and it was Juice Beauty. And Katie Denno, a professional celebrity makeup artist, she was there doing the demo. And at the beauty lab, um, there were 100 seats and each attendee um, pretty much got something. But for Juice Beauty, they put this stuff out for like every other seat so you had to share it with the people next to you. And you were able to take this these products home because obviously you were using them, they couldn't keep them. So my friend Kat and my friend Jackie, they shared the products with each other. And then I was sharing with a girl that I just met there and um, like we both got like half of the line whereas some other people got the full line and it was just it was kind of crazy um, the volunteers kept saying that the brand only provided so much but I mean I saw them passing it out to other girls so I'm not sure what was going on but we talked to Katie the celebrity makeup artist afterwards and she actually ended up getting me pretty much the whole collection from the back. So thank you so much, Katie. And your panel, your beauty lab was fantastic and I did learn a lot. So first up from them, I have the organic treatment oil, which looks like this. And I've been using this stuff day and night. So I've used it for two nights and one morning and I really like it. And then I've got the Phyto Pigments Juice Boost. The Stem Cellular Instant Eye Lift Algae Mask. The Green Apple Brightening Emulsion. The Phyto Pigments Flash Luminizer in 3 and 4 Cream Marigold. It's a double ended product. I have from them also the Phyto Pigments Luminous Lip Crayon in. 12 Malibu. I've got three of these. Katie gave me three of these. Um, these are liquid lipsticks. I have two in Gwyneth, which is like a mauve shade because Gwyneth Paltrow, she is an ambassador for this company. And then I also have one, <coughs> excuse me, and no, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I have two in Blythe, which is the mauve shade, and then I have one in Gwyneth, which is this more hot pink berry color. So I have three of those. I also have the Green Apple H Defy Serum, which is amazing. I have the Hydrate Hydrating Mist. And then I have two lipsticks, one in Napa and one in Syrah. And there were three altogether. So this was the only thing that I didn't get the last one of, but otherwise I have the full collection. So I have those and um, yeah. And then they gave us this bag to put it in. So it's Fido Beautiful. So I will be filming a kind of like morning or night routine using those products so that you can see them in action and kind of talking about them a little bit more in depth. 
And then I also went to the Laritzi Cosmetics booth and they were giving out like lip glosses or liquid lipsticks and they also gifted me this. Thank you so much, Bianca, for this. Um, it was a pleasure meeting you and I'm excited about this. So they gave me their collection of their lip products that they were promoting at the event. So I believe I have eight products all together. There's another one in there. And I will be doing a swatch video and try on video using these. But I have this one. This is a lip gloss in 514. I guess, yeah, 514. 514. A long lasting liquid lipstick in Tidal. A lip gloss in Aura, and I have two of these actually. Um, they're really pretty. It's like a duochrome lip topper, really pretty. Um, a liquid lipstick in Wavy. Another Aura lip gloss. This is a lip gloss in Nudes. A lip gloss in Knockout and this one is a liquid lipstick in power so be on the lookout for a video specifically for those because I'm excited to try them out and share them with you and then the last thing that I have is from Sue I believe is how you pronounce it and it's a face mask brand or skincare brand and this is what the bag looks like. This is a creator bag. Thank you so much, Larry. It was a delight meeting you. You were hilarious. And you really made not only my day, but you made Kat and Jackie so happy and so excited by gifting them a bag like this also. So thank you so much for being so kind to my friends and just being so wonderful to talk to. And I really look forward to hopefully working with you in the future. But let's go ahead and share with you guys what they gave us so i just have some papers from them but they gave us it looks like one of every mask that they were displaying at the event so there's like 15 masks total so i have a honey cream bubble mask the purifying brightening peeling gel the black charcoal hydro gel mask this is a v-line chin up mask so it's for this area right here Next, I have the Peel and Glow Two-Step Mask. The Pure Detox Mud Sheet Mask. I'm excited to try this because I keep hearing Coffee Break with Danny or Danny from Coffee Break with Danny. She loves sheet masks and I've heard her talking about these. Um, I'm not sure if she's used one yet, but she, she's been talking about wanting to use one. Um, I know I've heard her mention them on her channel anyways. I also have a Panda Eye Brightening Mask, which if you watch Coffee Break with Danny, you know that Danny calls her followers pandas because she got started with makeup and stuff, um, really getting into it because she had a really dark circles under her eyes and she would refer to herself as a panda. And so then she started calling her subscribers pandas. And she's one of my favorite people to watch. I adore her. Check her out if you haven't already. I also have the Black Charcoal Bubble Sheet Mask the Purifying Black Charcoal Mask, the Unicorn Glow Hologram Mask, and the Juicy Mango Glow Mask. I said and like that was the last one, it's not the last one. I have the Juicy Strawberry Glow Mask, the Charcoal Clay Bubble Mask, the Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask, the Acai Berry Revitalizing Sleeping Mask and the Donkey Milk Skin Gel Mask and then they also gave me um, the Tea Tree Clear Spot Dots. These are to put on like pimples or breakouts um, overnight and it's supposed to really help clear up that breakout. So I'm excited about that because I've got one right here so that'll probably be tonight's little adventure. Another paper. Um, I have two little bracelets um, that they're just on like a gold a gold string and they say Sue on a little little emblem they're pretty then I also have a hydrogel lip patch I forgot that that was in there 
And then as well as sheet masks, they're branching out and they're creating and promoting their peeling mask. So this is a purifying, brightening, peeling gel. And this is a, and they had five of those, of the peel off masks. This is a replenishing cucumber mist. Um, and they had two of these. There's this one and I believe the other was a rose one. And you can find Sue at Walmart. It's super inexpensive. I know at least my Walmart carries these masks too for five dollars. So they originally retail for like three. So you can get two of them for five dollars and save a dollar. And then they also have this. This is the Keeping Youth Avocado Jelly Mask. And I believe they have two different of these as well. And Kat actually received this in her bag and she gifted it to me. So thank you so much, Kat. I really do appreciate it. And that is everything that I received at Generation Beauty this year. No, it's not. I lied to you guys. I did not finish the Beauty Lab stuff. Oh my goodness, I feel so silly right now. So we went to the MAC Beauty Lab, which was Sunday morning, and we got the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in coconut, a little wallet, I guess, and a strobe cream, and then also a full-size in extreme dimension 3D black lash mascara. And the makeup artists, or the top trainers for, um, for MAC, um, Alicia and Lee, they were fantastic. I got a photo with them and I really enjoyed meeting them and all the different stuff that they talked about. They had a very interactive panel, a lot of questions, and it was just a lot of fun to watch. Again, you guys can watch these videos, these Facebook Lives of the Beauty Labs um, on Facebook on the Ipsy page. And then we also went to Pixie on Saturday. How did I forget this, you guys? Like, how? They gave out a small glow tonic, which I love. A Lip Lift Max. It's a lip gloss in Sweet Nectar, a nice peachy orange shade. A glow Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. And they told us that these were actually liquids and they inject the back with like the shimmer and stuff. So it's a really cool feeling um, product. I really like that and I learned that like that's that's really cool. This is an endless silky eye pen. It's waterproof in matte nude. This is the liquid fairy lights glimmery shadow in bare brilliance which is kind of like a brownie color. And then this is the makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea. And that is that is officially everything that I received at Generation Beauty this year. I know that this is a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to enter the giveaway and I will talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the rules in the giveaway down below, of course, and I will see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said shut up and dance with me.